Hey guys, welcome to the next video on shell scripting tutorial for beginners. In the last video, we have seen how we can use uh, case statements in shell scripting. Now in this video, we will take one more example on uh, case statements and we will consolidate our knowledge which we have gained in the last video. So we already know that how a case statement works in uh, scripting and this is the basic syntax which we have learned in the last video. So let's take an example uh, and this time we are going to use some patterns to uh, evaluate some cases. So let's say we want to allow the user to enter any character and then we will uh, evaluate that character and based upon the character entered by the user we will display if it's a capital letter or a small letter or a integer or some other special character or it's a, not a character he entered some string for example so let's get started so what i'm going to do is on the top i'm going to ask the user to enter some uh, character so i will just use minus e for this and I will say enter some character and then we will allow the user to enter the character on the same line right and then we will uh, take that character using uh, the read command so just write read and then we will save it for example in a value so just write value variable and then we will take this variable so I'm going to remove this variable because we don't need this variable so now our character or whatever uh, input is entered by the user is in the value variable. So we will evaluate this value expression and then uh, we will check if it's a capital letter or small letter, right? So for that, we can use some patterns. Now how pattern works. So for example, we want to evaluate if a user has entered the small letter A to Z so we can use this uh, square bracket and then you just need to write a and then minus z and this pattern represent that we are expecting a small letter between a to z okay in a similar way if we want to uh, evaluate a capital uh, character then we can just say capital a to z like this so this is the pattern for capital a to z right now if you want to uh, evaluate the number any uh, integer 0 to 9 so we can just write 0 to 9 right now uh, if the user enters any other special character for example asterisk or uh, some other characters which is not the part of uh, a to z or any number then we can evaluate it with the question mark now what is question mark question mark uh, uh, is a pattern uh, which expects any special character or any uh, character which is uh, one letter character right and this uh, asterisk or star symbol awaits for more than one character so it can be one or more than one special character so if the user enters, uh, for example, any string and not a character, then it goes into this uh, situation or in this case. And this is for only one character, any special character, right? And here we can echo that character. So for example, user entered value and uh, then we can just say A to Z smaller letters right in a similar way for capital a to z we can just write here capital a to z and in the case of integer let's copy this and paste it here and we will just say 0 to 9 and in the case of uh, question mark we will just say it's a special character right and in the last case we will just uh, say unknown input so we will just write here unknown input. So let's run the script and let's see what happens uh, when we uh, run this script. So let's run the script. 
and let's enter any small letter for example f and then press enter and it says uh, the user entered letter f which is between small a to small z right once again let's run the script and this time we will enter the capital k for example and then press enter and you can you see uh, there is an error here because we were expecting this statement to be printed which is capital a to capital z but here it prints user entered capital k but then it prints small a to z so it goes into this condition and if you also get the same error then most probably you need to uh, do a small hack and this is you just need to uh, set the lang as c so just write lang is equal to c so in capital lang is equal to capital c and this means you are setting a lang environment variable is equal to c right and uh, this means that you are using the safe local everywhere in your operating system so if it doesn't work for you for capital letter this script you just need to set this environment variable as c so lang is equal to c and once again we will run the script and once again we will enter the capital k and this time it shows the right result to us right so if you face the same problem just use this environment variable is equal to c right once again let's run the script and this time we will enter any number and press enter and it says of course it's between 0 to 9 right or any other number for example 5 it's also between 0 to 9 right now let's enter any special character so I'm uh, entering for example this and symbol which is a special character and then press enter and it says user entered this and and it's a special character now let's enter any random string and let's see what's the result so it says unknown input right so in this way you can uh, match characters uh, using these kind of patterns right for more information on uh, patterns and regular expression you can always uh, search for a regular expression and you will uh, see a wikipedia page on regular expression and you will be able to understand and read there what the square bracket is what is minus what is this question mark uh, stands for or what is this asterisk everything so uh, the wikipedia page for regular expression has a good explanation on patterns so just read that wikipedia page and you will be able to understand these patterns in a better manner so case is not just uh, used for a uh, strict uh, letters or characters you can you know evaluate any patterns using the case statement and that's the beauty of this case statement so i hope you enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now